Hi guys, we're back to Blue Flames. Uh, we've got a pattern RNA today. We're going to go through scenario based with the main focus being 1v1s. All the lads are going to be training in the 1.0 train. Some people have been asking for unboxing. Real quick one. Putin's. It's obviously anti grip palm, so there's no friction at all. We we still believe it's like the, the most important glove you, you're going to need. Boss means you in Latin. Uh, and the idea with it is everything that you do is going to matter the most, alright? So if you can start developing more as a goalkeeper through using these, when you do go back to the latex gloves, you're going to be a better goalkeeper, but you're going to have the added help of latex. Cool. Now bring on the match gloves, I'm just going to show you the difference. So, similar design. So again, like the training glove, it's a minimalistic glove from the Gusseltless Cut. Uh, for like a snugger fit. It's one of the lightest gloves on the market. That's a massive thing to it. So you don't want to feel as if you're carrying these big heavy things about in a game, especially when it gets muddy and things like that. You want to feel like you can still move your hands sharp, you're still moving quick. The idea is to go from the training glove to the match glove. It should have a similar feel for a better transfer. Uh, but also from, from Lee and Sean uh, and myself, we want to say like thank you to every single person who's, who's bought either the training glove the match love and like it's, it's mad it's surreal seeing people wearing that and like for people to trust what we've done like like we said we're it's taken us i don't know maybe three four years to be in this position maybe longer um promo code <coughs> oh yeah it's still live our U10. promo code for youtube subscribers is still live it's u10 y-o-u one zero that'll get you 10 percent off if you've got any questions about whether the training love the match love or the uh, session or the session like we always say just leave a comment underneath and uh, we always try to respond. Um, so make sure to, to like all videos, leave a comment, subscribe and, and give us a share. You know if you feel like there's some value in the videos, give them a share. Please. Oh, that Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with that one, so with the aerial balls, I'm going on the goalkeepers. I'm not there to like, I'm not a player. Like, so they don't need to try and punch it over my head or anything like that. I'm just there to make whatever decision they make much harder. So I'm either going to like jump with them or just be around them. Um, and it just makes the skill much harder. Great stuff. Oh. 
decision, Pat. Just, do loads. just save it another time, don't you? It's the right decision. It, it was like there, though. My hand was like that. It should have been. For the finish. Good block, Aaron. Oh, good decision. To save. That's just some. I mean, so good. That's it. Come, oh, Pat. Oh. <laughs> that's why you saved it. Drop him back. Drop back now. Good lad. <laughs> no concede, Naren. Hands, 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 hands. Oh, hey. oh, I just don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there when I go. I think you got to go because I think he's he's not wide enough to to like block off that. Far corner, I think you still can hook it there. Uh... Good one, that. Oh, there, yeah. you've blocked that off yeah, there, yeah, Pat. Yeah. It's too wide, isn't he? Yeah. But that, that central one, you do need to come and close the angle yeah, down because yeah. anything further back, you've got so much of this to. Grab. Just finished the session. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh, what we did there? Yeah, it's good. Good work. Uh, I think we're, I'm really enjoying the one v ones at the minute. Uh, just loads of learning, like decision making. It's um, it's really good. It's uh, it's something that you haven't worked on much before. No, no, it doesn't really get taught like this um, in like academies or and, um, at clubs. But it's really good. Uh, the, um, going into detail with the lads is really good. What's some of the key things for one v ones? Like, what's your what information are you looking for? What sort Ma of? I'd just say mainly you're just looking at the, the attacker, his touch, his body language, um, the speed of like his pass that he receives. If it's slow, you'll stop, close the space. If it's fast, you won't have time. How close is his touch to his foot? How far away from his foot is it? Um, if it is the direction, it, like if it's going away from goal um, or towards yeah, you, like it's all, all different things you got to think about. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot, but. Um, it's such an important the, tool the, to have, yeah, isn't with, it? Yeah, and with the training, if you can, if you can uh, with the training that we're doing here, if you can take it straight to a match, I mean, it corresponds pretty, pretty obviously, doesn't it, to a match? But like, if you're doing one v ones, what's the key bits of information you need during a, during one v ones, rather than just working a dead ball and running towards one mm -hmm. and like creating a shape and practice and technique? I uh, like so we 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 kind of going away from like we never really tell you what shape to to use, do we? 
it's just, we're all about like just if it, closing the space if you can. I think if you can. Again, but you're only going to be able to make these decisions as if the information's there in training. But 1v1s we're really diving into more than ever. You know what's going to happen in a game, you're always going to get 1v1s. At some point you're going to get really close range shots. Um, and sometimes, I mean we were, we were guilty of it before, it's almost like, what more can you do? You know, like it's, it's a really close strike. But people talk about 1v1 saves and they say, oh well it was right next to them, it was close to them. They've got it straight at them, but they don't take the, into account like the decisions that are made to create that. So the only reason it's straight at them is because the angle of the ball hasn't changed greatly because it's so close to them. Um, the further away you are, the more the ball will travel, the more further away it will be from you. So then it looks like a full stretch save, but the closer you are at the ball, it becomes a shot around you, doesn't it? Um, so it's doing the training it, like when you see a 1v1 save like just on, on the telly, you just I appreciate it so much more because there's so much more like thought going into it you know, than like it's, oh, it's just hit him it's just close to him oh, he's just been brave but he's there's so many decisions you have to make 1v1s are like it's intelligent rule keeping it's smart isn't it it's like it's about being intelligent and reading play reading information um, and again like we're all about a saves almost like the last resort like sweep smother 1v1 short short range shooting chance prevention really yeah. isn't it? like that's what it is yeah you see good. I like a lot of info, some yeah. good info there. You alright? Yeah, it's fine. Right. Bye.